how to make the letter R. All right, let's blow up a balloon. Leave a little bit there. Give it some flexibility. Okay, we're going to determine about how you're going to want it, something like that. So kind of determining the uh, shape and all that. Let's go ahead and make a pinch twist here first uh, to relieve the possibility of it popping. And we're going to make a pinch twist up here. This won't pop because it's got air that's going to, you know, it can go into there as you twist it. Okay, so then we're going to just twist this around here. And if that's all you're doing, like you're doing a P, then that's enough. But we're going to have another leg come out here, so that's going to want to try to force this back. So what we'll do is we'll make another pinch twist. We'll put one on this side and one on this side. And that will hold it better. It'll hold the spine in place better. In fact, right now the spine is going a little this way, but once we put the other piece in, it'll push it back out. Okay, we'll get another balloon for the leg of the R. We're blowing it up more than we need to. We'll just pop off the extra. And we're going to put that in there like that. So we'll just take the nozzle and wrap it around and put it in like that. Now, isn't that pretty? That's a nice R, a very nice R. And we're going to uh, cut off the bottom so that they're the proper length because it's too long. Unless you like real long, lanky letters, in, that case, in which case, then that's quite fine, and you can leave it like that. I'm not trying to judge your letter shapes. I mean, if that's how you like it, that's how you like it, you know. So who am I to judge, right? Okay, so we're going to take this off, too. Oh, my gosh. Uh, I um, didn't hold it well enough, and so part of the air escapes, so I'm going to have to blow air back in there. Oh, no. For me, I'll have to be honest, it's hard for me to blow air into a balloon if there's no nozzle there. I can do it, but I don't. it's hard, and I don't like to do it. So I prefer not to. Okay. There we go. We'll tie that off. And there is a beautiful, a beautiful uppercase R. And now we're going to make the lowercase r, which is very similar to making a lowercase n, but it just doesn't continue all the way down. Um, let's just do it. Here we go. Okay, the spine. And I don't know if you remember with the n, if you saw that one, I'm going to make this pinch twist a little bit bigger because not only is it going to cause the balloon to go that way, hold it in shape, but it's also going to act as that little nub that goes off on the letter, you know, the letter R. It's kind of backwards the way I'm doing it. It goes like this, right? And so that's that part. So that will suffice for that. And that's about it. Take it here, twist it, pop it off, tie off that part. A little bit more shaping, maybe make it go up a little bit first. Yeah, maybe make that go in a little bit more. Shaping um, a balloon has a, a lot of twisting letters is the shaping. And there's your uppercase and lowercase R. Thank you very much.